there, this is Jenea and today I'm gonna be making a card with some embroidering on it. So to start off, I went ahead and die cut a piece of cardstock using a cross stitch rectangle die. I'm gonna be using the embroidered hello die as a guide to do my embroidery. So I secured it with some washi tape and ran it through my cutting machine and now I have a perfect guide to start my embroidering. I'm gonna be using some cotton yarn and I'm using a little piece of adhesive tape to hide the start of the yarn behind the cardstock. So I'm not good at embroidering at all, but using these little holes as a guide, it's super easy. I'm simply doing a back stitch. I think this is how it's called. So I do a single stitch, then I come up with a spade ahead, space ahead and bring my needle back down into the same hole at the end of the last stitch I made. It's as simple as bringing your stitch back to the end of the last one. And this is basically how I'm gonna be doing it. A great tip when embroidering walls, so they end looking very nice, is doing your stitch following the same path as you were writing. But of course, you can do it the way you like. As you can see, I skipped my tip on the O, so it was easier for me to do it. And because the holes are big enough, you can also use time to do this. Other fun idea could be mixing different colors of yarn, even creating a rainbow or gradient effect around the world. So now that I've finished, I'm securing the end of the yarn with some adhesive tape. And it's done! Isn't it pretty? Yarn totally makes me think of kitties, so I'm using this Meow You Doing set on my card. I'm using a piece of acetate to help me carve in the sentiment a bit. Then I'm picking it with my acrylic block and stamping it using long foam jet black ink. Now I'm gonna be using a new piece of yarn, securing it on the back of my cardstock, just in the same hole where I finished my embroidering, and I'm gonna be using liquid glue to adhere it to my cardstock on a curved path. I start by placing the yarn where I want it, then I apply super teeny dots of glue, place the yarn on top and press down to adhere it. While the glue dries completely, I'm gonna be working on my scene. And I'm gonna be using the Perfect Plate Rainbow Collection to create a fun and colorful floor. I'm using the same cross stitch rectangle die to cut my piece of paper, running it through my cutting machine, and I'm going to cut it again using this simple stitch hillside border die. I secure my die with some washi tape before running it again through my cutting machine. Next, I'm attaching this piece to my base panel with some double adhesive tape. And now it's time to play again with yarn. I'm gonna be making a little yarn ball and I'm just cutting a small circle with my scissors, covering it with double adhesive tape and wrapping my yarn around it. You don't need to cut a perfect circle because the yarn will help making it look nice and smooth. So I start wrapping the twine in one direction and when the ball is almost completely covered I will do it in the other direction. Completely covered with yarn, 
I apply a bit of glue to the end of the yarn and cut it. Then I press down with my fingers to spread the glue and seal all the little threads. And what's a ball of yarn without a kitty? Well, it's a safe ball of yarn, but I'm going to add a kitty anyway. I'm coloring it with Copic markers, which are alcohol based markers. So I stamp it with dye black ink. This way the ink won't bleed while coloring. So I'm using just a pair of markers for my coloring. I'm blending them together and when it's done I will be adding some marks to the kitty with a darker orange. coordinating dye to cut it out and add some foam adhesive to its back to attach it to my card. So it's time to mount everything together. For the base of my card I'm gonna be using a lilac paper from the Watercolor Wishes collection. So I went ahead and trimmed it to the size of my card base and I am adhering it using double adhesive tape. I adhered a piece of crafty foam to my embroidered panel to give the card some dimension and I added the little ball of yarn with some liquid glue. Now I am placing the kitty on my scene like he is playing with the ball of yarn and it's done. I love this design to send a little love to friends, so I made another just changing the colors a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day, bye!